Only two hours out of London and you're in Bristol, the largest city in the southwest. Bristol can be many things to many people. Essentially, it's a multicultural, cosmopolitan city with one of the best music and club scenes in the country. It's the ideal home for this week's couple, Nicky and Paul. They've rented a flat together for four years. Well, along with Paul's mates. I find I end up doing all the tidying. And these lads we live with, lovely as they are, they, uh, you'll find beer cans everywhere. No one thinks to do washing up and cleaning the bathroom. I think I've got you boys to do it once in the last two years since you lived we here. We made a good job, really. You made a palaver out of it. It was, it was an afternoon event. <laughs> Nikki and Paul are after a two-bedroom house with a garden big enough for Paul and his mates to barbecue in. Ideally, it would be a Victorian property with lots of original features. It'd be nice, though, if you had some features, fireplace, that sort of thing, a few original, yeah. original bits. A bit of character in a house. Yeah, a bit of character. Something a little bit unusual. So what is your budget? Uh, around about 100000 100000 yes. OK. Give or take a bit or give or take nothing? Either way. go above, but preferably not. With our own place, you could look to have an extra room that we haven't got here as a sort of fun room. I think it'd be a boys' room. You Do you now? I think that might be up for debate. Well, OK, <laughs> could, be a, could be a boys' room. Or a girls' room. Or a girls' room. I thought you'd agree. I'll decorate it in the colours I like and then you might decide you don't want to make it a boys' room. Perhaps. <laughs> so, garden, two beds, good-sized kitchen and sitting room, period property, for no more than about 100, 110 grand. Yes, please. Not too much of a tall order. <laughs> <laughs> Bristol's housing stock ranges from typical Victorian terraced houses to contemporary warehouse conversions on the docks and Georgian villas. Overall, the cost of property matches the national average, although prices vary widely depending on location. Clifton, where Nicky and Paul are renting, has long been one of the most sought-after areas of Bristol due to its views of the city, its Georgian terraces and its shops, restaurants and green space. You pay for it too. A two-bedroom flat can cost £180,000, and even a garage can set you back £35,000. So, Nicky and Paul want a two-bedroom house, and they're hoping to find one for around £100,000. Since they're also concerned about moving too far away from their friends, they'll need an affordable, up-and-coming area close to the city centre so they can enjoy Bristol's nightlife. Sounds a challenge, but we found it in Totterdown, Windmill Hill and Southville. These areas are definitely on the up. They may be situated south of the river, but they are the same distance from the city centre as Clifton. And that's only a 15-minute walk. Here, Nicky and Paul's £100,000 is likely to buy them a Victorian home with a garden. This is our first property, and we're in St Luke's Crescent. This house is on the market for 50 quid short of 100 grand. Wow. I think the owners of this house must be very keen on yellow. But it's a fantastic room. It's it's nice it? Yes. Yeah. And it's got very nice. Victorian fireplace. Pine everywhere. It's quite like that. Do you like wood? Do you like wood? I like the wood, 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 wood effect. Nice. That's been not. My years, friend's just done hers all. So what's your straight. initial impression? Very nice, actually. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes on a viewing, you can just feel those positive vibes. Nicky and Paul were doing a lot of smiling. This is a nice size bedroom. Built some wardrobes as well. Are they? Or are they freestanding? Good size second bedroom. Yeah, there's double beds. You could get a double yeah. bed in, couldn't you? Could, you? Yeah. This is the most staggering view, though. Come and, come and have a look. That is lovely, isn't it? It is. It's really beautiful. If it wasn't for the railway tracks, there'd be other buildings you wouldn't enjoy. That's right, yeah. This place gets better and better, wow. even down to the smallest room. Oh, my word. It's enormous. That is fantastic size. That is a big yeah. bath. There is loads. You can probably fit Nicky in that bath as well at yeah. the same time. But not the rest of the rugby team, isn't that what you, you guys do? You all bath together? Yeah, we yeah, tend to, but not in the uh, mate, biblical they? sense. <laughs> <laughs> From a first-time buyer perspective, it's ideal because 
a lot of the the sort of hard grind has been done, like the wooden floors, mm. Mm. Opening up the living room. you know, all yes. that kind of thing. But there's still a lot you can do to it. You can really add value to it. They'd even converted the loft into a playroom, ideal for Paul. They've really done this very carefully. The tile all the brickwork, beautiful beams. But I could see this. You could have this as your as the office PlayStation. Boys' room. Boys' yeah, type room. Play in here. Yeah, it could be that. Mm. That might be. Yeah, drinking room. Yeah. And then you'd never leave. Because you wouldn't be able to get down the stairs. <laughs> well, just sleep in here. It's nice to have some options. You, you, we're looking for a two bed house. Mm. We've got a two bed plus a, an extra room. Yeah. So, whichever way around, we've got a room that you haven't thought, you hadn't expected to, to find. Yeah, for the it's money. an added yeah. bonus. And we found yeah. it. A well-converted loft not only increases living space, but if you're lucky, could add as much as 30% to the value of your property. You'll need planning permission. As a rule of thumb, if other lofts in the street have been converted, you should be in luck. But don't buy anything on the assumption you'll get the go-ahead. It may never happen. If you do decide to go for it, be careful that any alterations you make comply with building regulations. You'll need a proper staircase, escape windows and self-closing doors. What a place. It's barely 10 o'clock on day one and already I've got that warm feeling. So the, the, the vendors have found themselves something and they're moving to Ireland. Yes. I don't know how long this has been on the market, but I'm always very pleased to hear when the vendors have found something and they're moving away. And, and the, the words come down the line that they are very keen to sell. Right. So they'd probably be... A, an opportunity to get it for, for less than what they're asking. What do you think? I mean, I really like it. Good size. All the rooms are good sizes. There's no, like, tiny room, big room. Yeah. It's good. I like it. I'm like not good. Oh, you can't be... It's, it's wonderful that you're thinking about putting an offer. And it's wonderful that we've... The first thing that we've found for you, you like, because mm. that's what we're here to do. Mm. Mm. But we've got, we've got other things to show you. I'm going to disagree with you. Why? Because it's Friday. And if you do like this house, and if we could make an offer which could be agreed by the end of today, that would mean that the Saturday viewers would not ever see it. Because <laughs> the thing is that it's Saturday that a young couple exactly like you yes. would be looking. Off work. Yeah. You're off work today. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm a bit stunned. I'm a bit stunned. But you've been looking for four weeks. It's very different to anything we've looked at. Absolutely. We very different. Like this. This it's been more 1930s style yeah. houses. This is more period. It's got some nice period features, and like you say, a lot of the work's been done. Um, you know, a lot of the big work's been done. But you can see where you can sort of put your mark to it yeah. and improve it. I, I'm inclined to think, you know, get on the phone. At the very least, express a very strong interest with the, with the agent. See a couple more, but I'd like to have this tied up by the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's against my principles to let someone have the first thing they see, so onwards. Just a five-minute walk away from St Luke's Crescent, our second property is on Bellevue Road. It's on sale for £94,950. It's got two bedrooms and a large garden as well. Yeah. Wow. Um, well, yeah. Nice size living room. Quite big, isn't it? Yeah, it is big. Yeah. I think it's bay bigger window. than the last one because the door is wider, the house is wider, and a bay window is bay so windows, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Second living room at a striped dining room. This is really a dining yeah. room. Yes. Yeah, it is, isn't I it? Mean, it is. it's, it's not got any other use, as yeah. it were. No, the, we've come into this room and all the features have gone. But the bits and pieces that we liked from next from door. Next, yeah. 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 I'd be very inclined to <laughs> knock down kitchen. this wall and open up the kitchen and have a big kitchen sitting room. This house is bigger than St Luke's Crescent, but it doesn't make the most of the extra space and doesn't have the same charm. They're not going to buy this house. It's not right for them. To make this house fit its true potential, mm. you'd have to do a considerable amount of work, oh, particularly downstairs. Well. More than £6,000 worth of work. If you did that, then I'm sure you would add to the value and find it was a very valuable house. But you see, I don't get, I feel we're getting the, the real nice vibe that we'd actually spend the time knocking necessary the walls down and stuff. Because yeah. if, you, if you're not excited about yeah. it, we won't, we won't ever get around to if doing it. Because it's big money, big effort, big time yes. to yeah. do it. Well, money's the main thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
Well, the first one's still ahead, but just to be sure, we're on to the next property. An end of terrace house in Southville, priced at £86,980. Come on in, everyone. Now, nah, this is more like it. This house has the character and the gloss to suit Nicky and Paul. All the rooms are a good size and the layout is excellent. However, unlike St Luke's Crescent, this property leaves little scope for improvement or to add value. Yeah. What did you say? It's nice, yeah. <laughs> you you seem nice. to have used nice. that word a lot in it's this house. Nice. Everything is nice, too nice. And then from the rather nice little garden, we caught sight of the view. Now, don't use the word nice, Paul. No, I don't <laughs> think the word nice applies in this context. No, it's a lovely house inside. But say you bought this house, when you came to sell it, people were wandering through going, oh, lovely house, lovely house. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. And move on. Yes. And so as you're when... saying, five years' time, who knows what's here? So it's important for you both to think about the resale, your resale in three or five years' time. Mm. Mm. Does it ruin it for you? A yes. Little bit. Yeah. Yes. It and does, I think I'd seen this sort of from before we came in, and maybe that's what has made it difficult, made inside, it difficult the inside. Because yeah. inside is it's nice, beautifully done. Yeah. <laughs> and as Paul says, it's nice. It's ten to five. I'm really concerned that we should get on the phone uh, about, about house one. Yeah, house yeah. one. I think. I think house yes, one. Yes, having seen a few others, perhaps I'm quite think... excited about house one now. Yeah, <laughs> even more. So. You sure, Paul? Yeah, absolutely. You sounded unsure for a second. Though. No, not at all. I was, what I, I mean, was going to say was, I think, I mean, house one may not have been actually that much bigger. It had the additional room in the loft. It felt it bigger. It felt bigger because it was on three yeah. stories. Yeah. yeah, it did feel bigger. A and bit unusual, really nice. a bit quirky, mm. sort of features that made it feel different to a normal two up, two down type mm. house. So, St Luke's Crescent, masses of character, a great view, and an attic full of potential. It seems we've found Nicky and Paul their perfect home. But is it all happening too fast? So, have Speed you two had up. enough of a chance this afternoon to talk about the house and other things that you've seen? And yes. you're now happy to submit that offer of 97,000? I think I am. You? I yes. think, are you sure? We can't have things. We no. don't. Well, we, we need don't. I mean, confident. <laughs> we don't. I am going I am. To we I don't am. want to push you into making an offer too early. No. It can be done in the morning, but if you want to do it now, I will happily do it now. Nothing's going to change in the morning. I like it. I would say. I can't. I would can't you spend ninety-seven thousand on it? I would spend ninety-seven thousand on it. David, hi. It's Kirsty again. Um, I've talked to Nicky and Paul and they don't really want to sleep on it. They really feel very strongly that that's the house for them. And they want to make an offer of 97,000. So for the first time ever on Location, 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 our people are about to put in an offer on the first place they've seen. Unbelievable. OK, bye. He said he'd call us back within 10 minutes. Oh, my <laughs> word. <laughs> <laughs>